Eco9 is sponsored by your Washington area Toyota dealers. So today is World Bee Day. Yeah, did you know there are more than 20,000 species of bees in the world and roughly 4,000 are native to the U.S.? Watch this show. You're going to learn something mm -hmm. on this Bee Day. The United Nations is asking us to help save the insects to protect the world's food supply. Meteorologist Michaela Lucero has tonight's Eco 9 report. They're small, but mighty creatures. Mother Nature's most precious insects. Um, they create everything that we appreciate in the environment and they ensure that we have that ecological balance. But the powerful pollinators are under threat. Experts say intensified farming is destroying their homes and pesticides, disease and climate change are posing more harm. Without bees, we wouldn't have the delicious fruits and vegetables that we enjoy. A third of the world's food production depends on bees. So as their population plummets across the planet, the United Nations is urging people to do their part to save them. Beekeepers suggest setting up a beehive in your backyard or outdoor workspace. Cities around the world, including New York, are bringing back the buzz with bee hotels that give the insects a safe place to pollinate. They go off and they make love to flowers and bring back this golden nectar which we consume. The theme for World Bee Day this year is Be Engaged with Youth. And beekeeper Alessio Carosi in Italy is spreading that message. He says there's never a bad day when working with bees. His nine-year-old son, Samuel, shares his passion and is campaigning with his dad to help save one of nature's most crucial creatures. I'm meteorologist Michaela Lucero, WUSA 9.